afternoon ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another new old video in today's video we are going to be doing a build guide on my eye scarlet rapier rapier focus assassin backstab build before we go on i just really want to say that this build is probably one of the most advanced builds the rapier in melee combat has got to be one of the hardest weapons to use because the great sword the great axe any other melee weapon right now in this game is currently just way stronger than the rapier the rapier in melee combat it's not very efficient it is not meant for melee combat i feel like but this build has got to be one of my favorites it is a very good backstab build we can get up to six thousand to seven thousand backstab damage since we are going to be in a full light build today all of the bows all of the muskets all of the great stars are going to be hitting us for an absurd amount of damage so no matter how much you outplay the enemy if it is not perfect 100 perfect you will die now with all that being said let's get right into the build video the first thing we are going to be talking about today is the attribute page this is going to be our full glass cannon page there is two attribute pages that we will be talking about today this page right here is going to be the full glass cannon build. This is going to give us the 250 dex perk, which is going to give us more critical hit damage against slow targets, which is going to pair very nicely with our ice gauntlet. This is the most amount of damage as you can get here, even with as much intelligence here. The 15% to element damage is going to increase our damage a lot as we do have an ice gem in our rapier, and we will be running the ice gems in our gear as well. So currently right now, unfortunately, the unending thaw perk here in the ice gauntlet tree. Let me just open this up for you you guys right here ultimate chill i mean sorry this ultimate chill does not work with the rapier anymore or any other weapon that has an ice gem currently equipped in it they removed this feature so unfortunately this build does not do as much damage as it did before but the gems with the help of the rapier buffs as well in terms of omnidirectional evade is going to help our damage kind of get back to where we were before but right now if we had ultimate chill this build would be absolutely insane all right so the next build that we have here is going to be the 150 constitution 200 dexterity and the rest intelligence this build is going to make you a lot more tankier this is going to give you a lot more critical damage reduction which is currently going to help you against all the pesky bows so if you want to be a little bit more tanker you can run this as well the damage is just as good however the critical strikes are not going to be as strong because you are running 50 less dex and you don't get this critical hit damage bonus as well however like i said this damage is still not bad and it's going to make you a lot more tankier now for the rapier abilities we are going to be running evade we are going to be running repose and we are also going to be running flesh this is a standard rapier build most people use it the only difference here is that we are going to be going down the blood tree to get this increased damage from both middle swipe attacks and the light attack chain by eight percent light edge is insane for this build we are going to be backstabbing a lot and this eight percent adds eight percent more to our middle swipes and when hitting from the back we do have to drop unfortunately the desperation perk which is 10 percent more damage when your stamina is below 40 percent but if this ever happens and you are caught in a bad situation you do not want to be fighting below 40 stamina percent anyways okay the great stars will eat you up the bows will eat you up the muskets will eat you up so if this ever happens it is a-okay we don't need to take this perk we just need to run away when this happens. This build is going to give us a lot of damage in the form of evade as well, alongside momentum. And let me find the exact perk here. Adagio, Adagio, however you pronounce it. This is also going to be known as omnidirectional evade here. And we are going to be rocking this piece here on our armor. Shuriken fortification, omnidirectional evade. This thing is in my way, okay? Uh, anyways here, we have 10% damage for two seconds after using evade. This is going to make our one-shot combo insanely fast. If you guys saw my last montage, you guys know my favorite combo is the heavy attack into evade, light attack. They cannot escape this combo. It is so much damage. It's about 8k damage in like two seconds against squishy light players. It is awesome. Anyways, let's move forward here. For the Ice Gala, we are just running a standard Ice Gala build with Storm, Shower, and Entomb. But as you can see here, we do have a level 19 uh i scaled it so we cannot get this ultimate chill but if we could afford the ultimate chill we would be getting this but right now i have not opted to take it because like i said i am a rapier focused i scaled player so i right now i just use the i scaled for storm and shower just to set up those nasty rapier combos so i don't really find any value in ultimate chill since it does not work for my rapier with the i scaled as well all right so for the gear here we are going to be running a three perk piece resilient freedom and shrinking fortification most of my gear does have this currently if, and if you cannot afford this resilient and freedom right now is going to be your best insult option i think freedom right now in opr or any type of pvp content has got to be my favorite perk there were so many stuns there were so many slows freedom is awesome right now so anyways i'm just going to go through the list here and show you guys my helmets and my chest and all of my other piece of gear here so here is my helmets here is my chest 
here is my gloves we do have the omnidirectional directional evade here this is going to be the best perk to get if this is the most important perk that you will need for this build to do ultimate damage just keep that in mind so make sure you prioritize your omnidirectional directional evade piece got the pants here with physical aversion shuriken energy i would love to have freedom instead of physical aversion here but i got this from opr caches as you can see here most of my gear is actually from opr i have been spamming opr the rusher cloth gear is insane right now i don't know what is happening with these opr caches but i'm getting so much best best in slot here it is awesome so here is all five of my pieces here here is the amulet we are opting for the champions amulet health stamina recovery and shuriken and power is awesome right now i don't have a better amulet i would love to remove shirking a power i feel like i don't get a lot of value out of this maybe for like a slash protection or thrust protection if we could afford that eventually i would probably get that but right now we are rocking the champions amulet right now since we do run 150 plus decks we do not need to get hardy on our ring so we are often for a ice damage invigorating punishment ring instead of invigorated punishment you can get the immortal empowerment however like I said, there is so much damage going out that you will eventually die with all of your stacks. You cannot stay alive with a lot of stacks as this build. So I opt to take Invigorated Punishment instead. It is pretty good still. And yeah, instead of Refreshing Evasion, I would probably go for something like Leeching or something else that is not Refreshing Evasion. I feel like that's kind of a dead perk. But I was given this ring for free, so appreciate my boy Timmy Nellon. Thank you so much, brother. So here is the earring. We do have a healthy toast, refreshing toast combo here with refreshing. This ring is going to help us a lot in terms of survivability. We do have the healthy toast, which is going to make our mana pots give us health every time we drink one, which is awesome, and going to help us survive against these pesky greatswords. All right, so now for the rapier. If you guys remember in my last video, I did post a rapier with Rogue and Frost Attunement. I have been using that for a very long time. However, I just got my Officer Ceremony. This is going to be the most amount of damage you can get for backstabs. As you see here, it's got Penetrating Backstab and Vicious, which is going to make our backstabs do so much damage. These perks stack together, which means that Vicious and Penetrating Backstab is going to make our backstabs do the most amount of damage possible. And for the keenly empowered backstabs are counted as critical strikes as well so we are going to instantly get 15 percent in power once we get one critical strike in the back so it just works so well together so here is the ice scholar enchanted unending thought with a random third perk here shirking arcane i would love to have refreshing move which is going to be the crystalline curse that has enchanted unending thought and refreshing move as well but right now i do not have 200 arcana to craft it but if i did i would like to run that in this build the Ice Gauntlet isn't really used for damage, it's really used for utility. The Ice Storm is going to be really our only form of damage, as well as the um, Ice Shower for the Rent. But we are mostly going to be using the Ice Gauntlet to help us peel ourselves and make sure we can set up some nasty, nasty combos with the Rapier. So if you can craft the Crystalline Curse, that is going to be your best in slot Ice Gauntlet. It does have Refreshing Move, which means that you are going to be getting a lot more of your Ice Gauntlet cooldowns back, which is going to end up resulting in more combos being applied. So the Harun that I have gotten today is going to be the Greater Harun of Stone Form. This is going to offer the most amount of survivability in this build. You already have a lot of damage and stick potential, so you don't need the Vines or the Damage Stone Form ability. So I prefer the fortify and staying in the fight as much as possible. All right, so now that we got the build done, we got the attributes, so we got the gear done, we have everything pretty much complete here to get you ready to roll with this build. Now let's talk about how we actually play this build. This build is pretty much meant to dance around your opponents. It is very flashy. It is a very fun high APM play style. It is one of my favorites, but pretty much you are going to be dancing around with your evade. As you can see there, you want to make sure that you are dancing around your opponents as well to avoid the crowd control. You do want to use evade for damage, but it's also going to be a very good source of outplay potential. So if you see someone coming up there trying to like light attack you or something, you could evade to your right, you could evade to your left, as we can do here. And as you see here, my evade is pretty fast. And our rapier attack is very fast here. Evade has a 30% cooldown reduction per rapier attack. So you want to make sure you dance around your opponent. You can dodge, iframe, repost. You just want to make sure you dance around your opponents. You got to have tippy toes. Uh, Twinkle Toes, if you guys watch Avatar The Last Airbenders, you got to be on your feet. You got to be making sure you are very aware of your opponent's cooldowns as well. Now, once you burst all of your opponent's cooldowns, that is when you decide to fletch in and maybe get some combos in as well. You can Ice Shower into an Ice Storm into the Auto Evade Auto. There are so many combos you can do with this build. It is insanely awesome. But the main important thing here is to dance around your opponents and waste their cooldowns by being a little rat and dancing around them. All right, so let's talk about combos to do. This is going to be one of my favorite one-shot combos. We are going to be doing the Ice Storm into the Fletch, into the Auto Evade Auto. 
If they are caught unsuspecting here, this combo will pretty much one-shot any player below 100 constitution. I do like to chase muskets, I do like to chase bows, and this is one of my favorite combos to do to make sure that they die instantly. So one of my other favorite combos is going to be the heavy attack and to be evade into the light attack here. We're going to be doing it outside of the dummy and then we will test it on the dummy as well. So, we'll be, so we will be doing a heavy attack into evade into a light attack the evade resets our auto attack cooldown so we can pretty much instantly do an auto attack cancel with the rapier let's do it once more on this dummy as well we do have the heavy attack evade light attack my character is going through the dummy so it's not showing the light attack damage but as you can see here the damage from the heavy attacks is insane now how do we actually use the ice gauntlet in this build so like i said before we can use it to slow we can use it to root and we can use it to peel ourselves with entomb but pretty much the ice gauntlet is going to be helpful in preventing someone from chasing you and setting up some nasty combos. So let me wait till my ice gauntlet cooldowns come up here. But pretty much our main combo is going to resolve around our ice shower. So if someone's chasing us, say like this piece of herb here is someone chasing us, we can ice shower them. We can auto evade auto. We can dance around them. We can do some fletches. You pretty much just want to play around your ice shower as much as possible and make sure you can kite through it as well. Uh, if you get caught out by one CC ability, you are pretty much dead. So like I said, use your evade properly. Don't use it just for damage. You have to dance around your opponent as well. If you can recall from the beginning of this video, I did say that this is one of the most advanced builds out there. And this is what I mean by that. If you are using your evade improperly and not using it to dodge or go through enemy abilities, you're going to have a rough time with this build. You will not have a lot of success if you play this build very dangerously and recklessly. You need to be patient, waste their cooldowns, and then strike. Pretty much like a snake. This is my snake build. I don't really know what else to call it, but it's very, very flashy and fun. One of the last tips I do want to help you guys is with evade. Uh, you don't have to just go forward with evade like that. You can also do multiple directions. So when you're looking at someone and you hold D and then press evade, your character will automatically shift to the right or left depending on how you look. Uh, this also works for behind as well. You can evade behind. Pretty sure you guys know that, but I don't think a lot of people know that you can actually like evade to the side of your opponents and kind of dance behind them like this. The last and most important combo, which is probably the most known combo, is going to be the repost. And once you stun them, turn behind them, heavy attack, evade, light attack. I don't have anyone to help me out with this combo right now. Uh, but pretty much if you repost and someone and you land a repost on someone, dodge behind them, go for the heavy attack into the auto evade auto so we've pretty much got every combo dub we got the play style dub we got the build guide done we got everything pretty much done now i'm going to show you guys some clips on how to perform properly let's get right into the clips baby and once again thank you guys so much for watching today's video
All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching today's build guide video on my Rapier Ice Gauntlet Backstab setup. If you guys have any questions about the build, leave it down in the comments below. I'll try to answer every possible comment out there. But once again, if you guys did like today's video, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on those notification bells. We have more montages coming. We also have an AOE healing guide coming as well. It is my main spec. Uh, but once again, thank you guys and peace, baby.